Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we are going to be turning our jacuzzi from this into this and now we are able to do this watch this video reason we have put them inside the jacuzzi is because every time we got them from the tote and we put them inside the pool they would die because it was a different temperature when they would get in shock the fish would easily pick them up and eat them they would just go like that and now since they're in the same temperature they're not going to get into shock and now they're just able to run away and not get as easily eaten as before so it's going to be a cooler and better underwater footage for you guys and every time we go sailing they're always a, like a couple of weak fish but after four or five days they usually stop dying and what we do with the dead fish is this okay this is buddy our chicken all right we taught him this trick where he jumps and catches the fish. Like. <laughs> These are our new Polish chicken right here. That's our new Polish chicken. And we have two silkies in here. Instead of feeding them to our fish, our cichlid fish, we would rather feed them to the chickens because the chickens, it is said that they have the most efficient digestive system in the animal kingdom and you can look that up in Google. Alright guys, so now it's time to get to the video. This is our holding tank where we keep all our sheep pets, our mollies, our minnows, our mosquito fish and mud minnows. That we are going to take out and we're gonna put them in a hot tub and we're, get, we're also gonna take this Midas and pike out right there and that hot tub has been stagnant it hasn't been used in a while it's starting to accumulate mosquitoes so we're gonna put these in there and we have went seining and we also caught these look at That's what's going to be going in there. What we're going to do right here, we're going to take all the water out because what we saw yesterday there were some mosquito larvae. So we did, we put some of those middles so they don't eat them. Because if you want to be, if you're going to be swimming in here and trying to enjoy the fish, you don't want all these mosquitoes biting you and stuff, you know. So that's what we did. But first we got to clean it out because all this is just like debris that's just stay here so we're just gonna take it out with uh, this pump right here and then after that we're gonna clean the floor with that shop back right there and then put new water from there into here okay so now we're taking out the water okay so what I'm gonna do is put some water from the pool inside this container so that we can already get it acclimated for the fish and when I'm done putting the water inside the container I'm going to use my secret weapon right here and the bucket to bring the fish and put it in here
Okay, so here I have the water from the pool ready and here's my secret weapon. Boom. Large net. That's what I'm going to be using to catch all these fish. Look at all the ones that I already got. Okay, so now I'm going to put them into the bucket. We just finished shop vacuum in here. Now it's clean. And we're about to start. So he'll connect it. Put it up right there. What it does right here when this water goes down, when the level goes down right here, then it has an automatic filler right here. So it'll come, the water will start coming in through that hole right there. The water that we use over there will get topped up automatically by itself. What we did here, we got this bucket and we put a lot of holes in. Right now what we're going to do is we're going to clean all the lava rock to stop all this mess from going into the pool. And then all the steam rock. My brother took in. Look at all the trash that's coming out of the rock. You could get these at a Home Depot, Walmart, like $6,000, 25 pounds. And I was, uh, I was clean. You're a mess. Now my brother's putting all the love rock back into the clean bucket. Oh, 
one more rinse.
Tô Gol, Jalen Moss. Tudo bem, posso dizer que 